Hey, what's up guys? I'm sorry that this intro is coming before the actual video and it's a little out of place and everything, but uh, we realized after filming it all that we didn't take the time to explain to you what it is we were doing. So what we were doing in that was playing a card game called Red Flags, where the entire point of the game is you have one person each round who's the judge, or the single as the game calls them, and the other applicants take turns to pick out two of four white cards that will describe what they think the single's best date would be uh, and then after the first round is over you have red cards which are meant to sabotage the other person's date and the entire point is to make the other person's date seem so unappealing that they want to pick yours instead and it turns into just this big entire circle of arguments that go in every which direction some of them make good sense some of them don't some of them are just the crying desperations of a sad man wanting to get at least one more point pay no attention to them but anyway, once again, we're sorry we didn't explain this at the start. Have fun, and please enjoy the video. What, what you guys got for me? I have picked you at a girl okay. that makes your friends and enemies jealous, and also owns a bounce house just for sex. It's a quick way to break your dick. See, only if you're not careful. Yeah. But Paul knows what he's doing. All right, all right. And if not, she owns it. She knows what she's doing. I exactly. have brought you okay. a fine young lady. Having sex with her keeps your skin clear. Every time you bone, your mom receives a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a good thing. <laughs> it doesn't come with a note. It's just a bouquet. Well, right, but eventually she'll be like, why the fuck am I getting so many flowers here? Okay. Do you have your right card picked up? What's the, what are the flaws? All right, so... Sex keeps your skin clear. Your mother gets a bouquet, but the lady is a sixty-year-old virgin. What are your cards? What are your cards? Bounce house for sex, and his friends and enemies are jealous. Ooh, I just cringe. I know you do. But she's always wearing a Bluetooth headset. I'll fucking take it. He can live with that. She can't hear you, man. That's she fine. had her AirPods in. She didn't know you were talking, man. Hold on, hold on. It doesn't specify that she has Bluetooth in both ears. Just says she that could, she, she has them on. She could just, just have, have one of those singular ones. But it says headset. Okay, I have a Bluetooth headset, and I most of the time just have one earbud. Yeah, or it's just like draped around. Like it's on, but is ah. it in? Ah. So, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll, he's, I'll take He's this. not going to take the 60-year-old No! <laughs> fuck that, man! <laughs> Which is why I knew I had a way to instantly get Paul to say yes to my... Uh, you fucking got it. Gotta use what you know. You wanna go first? Yeah, sure. All right. I got you a man okay. whose abs are a work of art and who won a Pulitzer Prize for their dirty talk. I don't really like dirty talk. Okay. Listen... If you they, should know that. If they want to pull a surprise for it, though. Okay. Paul hit me. I got you a YouTube celebrity of your choosing, okay? And is the Even. most sexually adventurous person you've ever met in your entire life and will ever meet. You're gonna have a really hard time fucking his up, Adam. There's not a lot that would keep me from. I mean, none of my red cards are good. None, none of my red cards are good enough for it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna throw this one out. I'm just gonna throw this one out. Okay. You wanna go first? I'll let you go first. Alright. So, a uh, YouTube celebrity of your choosing, what was the other one? Uh, is the most sexually adventurous person you've ever met. But ends every conversation with your dismissed. That's just big dick energy even necessary. <laughs> okay. It's just it throwing it away, because. Yeah, that goes to Paul. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even have to try. How many mm -hmm. points do we have? You and Paul each have one. Okay, so parents love them. Just absolutely my love them. parents. Yes. Okay. And uh, this person also knows your G spot a lot better than you do. Oh. Okay. That's weirdly topical for this morning. Yeah. Interesting. And Devereaux, who have you brought to the table? This fine lad can ejaculate wine, and he fulfills all of your dirtiest fantasies without even having to be asked. Oh, he can. He can. He doesn't have to. Okay. Sabotage each other. She's sexist, man. Bold of you to assume it's a girl. They're sexist, man. Be like dating your mom. Okay. Okay. 
problem with devs is that, you know, it's already starting off bad because you don't like alcohol. Yeah. You know, you don't drink, so that's already a con. Yeah. But, I mean, another con is that the person's just super, super racist. Fuck. Just, like, <laughs> out the ass. I, I feel like that's almost worse than basically dating your mom. Do you want super sexist or super racist? It's no, 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 no. <laughs> one is just regular sexist. The other one is super, super racist. <laughs> <sighs> I have to go with Paul's. Fuck. All right. What you guys got? All right, so two, one, one. Oh, 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 you, oh, Paul. You got a fucking zinger, don't you? Oh, your wingman is coming in clutch right now, okay. buddy. Okay, okay. Okay. Not only does she always defend you, she has no STDs and can't get pregnant. Okay. Not okay. only. Okay. Not only will she be physically 18 forever. She won an Olympic gold medal for oral sex. Oh, that sounds so rapey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far no, I'm, no, no, no. I'm leaning towards the first pick. Mm. Fuck each other up. Try oh, it. I forgot to get the other Let's see where this goes. Okay. So far, <laughs> option one is the best. <laughs> Alright, Paul. I hope you understand the implications of this and why it's bad for you. She's a men's rights activist. She's a meninist. She open mouth kisses her siblings. Which she always friends even has no STDs and can't get pregnant. But she open mouth kisses her siblings. Think about every and family dinner you go to. And since every party. Every get together. You hate families, and plus, you, never see them. You, you gotta think too, since she open mouth kisses everyone. And has no STDs and can't get pregnant, that doesn't mean she hasn't fucked someone in the family. Hold on, that's not part of any of these. But no, you can make that leap. You can make logical leaps like that oh, if you want. Oh, okay. Well, then logically, logically you could assume that as a men's rights activist, she would take up the role of a housewife, leaving you to pay all of her bills and do everything for the family. Hmm. You can also assume that she's not that bad of a men's rights activist, though. You could also argue that she never fucked her family. You could also argue that because she's a housewife, she's a dom in the bedroom. I'm going with Adams. Sure. Fuck. Man, I had a really good argument for mine, too. Listen, when you're 60 and you're dating somebody who looks 18, despite the fact that she is the same age as you, nobody's going to give a shit. She's only physically 18 forever. Adam, you have no choice. You have no decision. I have one. Okay. Okay. Oh boys, fuck me up. Um, I found you someone who has the best hair ever, and every time you have sex with them, five hundred dollars goes straight to your bank account. Oh my god, it's such a fuck. He has the most attractive body you've ever seen, okay. and he can get you into the hottest orgies. What about his face? Attractive body. What is face? It's all encompassing. What is face? It's all encompassing. What is face? Also, the most attractive thing you've ever seen. It's, you, it's all has the most attractive body you've ever seen. It's all encompassing okay. and can get you into the hottest organs. So he's hot, and he can get me into the hot sex with other hot people. And yes. I already have a counter for and that. Uh, has the best hair, and every time you have sex with them, five hundred dollars goes straight to your bank. Oh, I can I can knock Paul's down easily. The problem with Adams is uh, the the they go on Tinder every time you have sex. That's how you can get into these orgies. You're at an orgy though. You have on Tinder every time. Just get right, it's, well, it's just more and more people piling what on. Were like, you? What were both of your cards? I just said it. Yeah, I know. Best hair, five hundred dollars every time you have sex with them. Thinks you're ugly, so they never fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Weren't expecting that, were you? Focus yours? Goes on they're, Tinder they're on during Tinder sex. Every time you have. Yeah. Then I could be equally the simple Exactly. Fuck, I don't know. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. We're not getting paid to fuck. I'm not fucking. Who am I dating? I found you. 
the world champion hunter, okay? okay, who touches you in all the right places and never needs to be corrected once. Okay. Not only does she own a classy brothel, but she also creates shelters for the homeless. Screw each other over. The problem with devs is that this person swears you look exactly like their sister, but says that's a good thing. The terrible thing about Pauls is that uh, every time you think about them, you dry gave. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. And Devereaux wins. <laughs> Who's going first? Let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, dealer's choice. Let's go with Adam's first. Okay. All right, can go for hours okay. and hours and hours. And also, can't wait to share you with all of her model friends. Not in the bed, though. She Tea has style. a twin, and she can get you free drinks forever at any bar in the world. Has a twin and can get you free drinks forever. What is it? At any bar in the world. Yep. But owes the government a million dollars. Wow. She's a death row inmate. That means you won't have to put up with it for too long. And you already said you don't like the fact that she's trying to share you with her model friends. It also means you have to go on a date with a death row So it means that you are dating a model. That's a conjugal visit, Paul. You gotta put your dick in It means you are dating a model who you won't have to deal with for too long. But I don't want to get stabbed. Who makes you think she's gonna stab you? Death row inmate. Doesn't mean they killed somebody. It just means they have the death penalty. Yeah. For all you know, it could be for tax evasion. Put you on death row for tax evasion. Listen, you don't know what kind of world this is. I mean, that's fucked up, but that's the world. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh. I don't think you want to be with the chick that owes the government a million dollars. That's like student loans. A million dollars in student loans? Maybe she's a surgeon. How long did it take her to get through school? Maybe she's a surgeon. You see, like, the problem with these is that I don't have to deal with any of them for that long amount of time because one's gonna die one's gonna get arrested so yeah and then once she gets arrested those free drinks disappear I'll enjoy while it lasts I'll take that all right I found you someone who is a college English professor who also lives in a castle Harper, your vibe just a little bit of medieval fantasy Adam, you're the next It's gonna be tough to beat. Yeah. The person I've picked out for you is the kinkiest person you've ever met, and also owns a top of the line sex dungeon. Fuck each other up. <laughs> Do your worst because you're gonna have to. Yep. The problem with a Adams is that they always think that they're a Jedi. Okay. Pauls might be a college professor that lives in a castle, but he posts all of your texts and emails online. Like, to him or in general? In general. I don't text. I don't really email. You do nothing but text. Snapchat is not texting. Yes, it is. Define, okay, define text. You mean, like, through... Any version of I am that involves words being sent to another person. The workaround of that is Skype. What are you gonna do? Video call? Yeah. Yeah. First of all, or just first of all, that's or just call them. them. First, first of all, voice call. Skype. I use Skype. Skype. I don't Skype. Yeah. Who doesn't use Discord? Discord has shit sometimes. So does Skype. Discord shits the bed sometimes. Anyway, you see, you're going to change your entire life and just video call and voice call Continue. everybody for the rest of your life. Continue. Yes. What is there to continue? Argue for your cases. This should be enough right here. It Why? thinks they're a Jedi. What does that mean? That I mean, yeah, Paul's got the hot for teacher and what? What, the what does that mean? Thing though? Going, though? <laughs> they think they're a Jedi. Wow. Well, okay, but, but what, what does that encompass? They're under the delusion that they're, they are a Jedi from Star Wars. The entire time they're going. <laughs> they're doing that the entire time. <laughs> Everything is a Star Wars quote. Yeah, trying to force you choke. You can and never send another person in your life a text. I gotta go with Paul's. I'm sorry, it's the castle. You have made a mistake. The hot for teacher castle is yep. You've made a mistake. It's doing things to my brain now. You have made a mistake. <laughs> Alright, All right. who do I got? Paul, you're ready? Yes. 
Who am I got? The person I got for you is the person you've secretly always wanted to have sex with, and they get turned on by the mere presence of you. Okay. 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 So. I got your back, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wingman coming to cut right now. Tell what you got. Not only is their life the true story that Sherlock Holmes is based on, but they make you feel secure. What are the cons? Find the cons first. Adam's girl is still in fourth grade. <laughs> Paul is secretly a pedophile? That's what I don't take my point now. No, yeah, no, no. Wait, hey. no, no. Deborah has, has three foot fingernails. <laughs> it's not a fucking fourth grade. No, 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 no. Paul, all you gotta do is wait. You can do that. You've been doing it for three okay. years already. <laughs> Jeffree Star makes you feel secure in your relationship. Has millions of dollars. Literally a child. Jeffree Star is also a guy and Paul has no interest in that. I mean like the equivalent. Paul, Paul can wait for someone to turn 18. He's been waiting for three Passing years for something. Don't even. <laughs> they, they refuse to cut their fingernails so those bits are just going to keep growing. You can wait till someone turns 18. You've already waited three years already. <laughs> it wasn't for one person, though. Just no, you're kept right. getting dumped. You're right. You're right. But twice over by the time they turn well, 18. Here's I don't the, want that. Here's the thing, though. By the time that would once, be, like, once the they creepy... turn 18, they instantly get turned on when they see you. So you go to the park. And She'd be a fourth grade. No, I'm going go, with that. You go to the park and it's not a date. I'm going with that. You are now four, at the bottom. <laughs> what is it? Four, four, three? Yeah. What is I don't know. 443. 413. 413. Mm. From Game Rooms? Is that what you're thinking of? No. Were they inside the uh, escape room? Yes. Yes, it is. 413. 413. 413. Stop it, man. You're scaring me. All right. All right. Double row. You get. Pander to me. You get to date someone who lives in a dorm full of horny college poets. So you get to live in a dorm, something you've always wanted to experience. Okay. And they give great massages. Great, so I'm surrounded by people who want to fuck me that I can't fuck because I'm in a relationship with this person. No, 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 the person wants Are we allowing that leap? That's, that's, I'm pretty sure it's kind of implied by the fact that you live in a dorm full okay. of horny college poets. Okay. Hang on, I gotta pick two new cards because I've used those already. Oh, okay. Did you so, grab ones you already had? Yeah, by mistake. Here. Once we uh, get through all of our cards, we'll switch. Okay. Well, the person I picked for you is honest and respectful. So me. Fuck. You picked me. Okay. Fuck each other up. Let's do it. Ruin, ruin my life. Currently, Paul's winning. By the way. Yeah, of course, he picked me. Uh, the <laughs> problem with Adams is that. This person is 40 years older than they were in the profile picture. Uh, the problem with Paul's is they laugh incessantly during sex. I don't have that card. What? I had that card. Had this card? Yeah, it was the one I asked to trade in. Oh, okay. Okay, so just pick, pick a new one since that one was already... Well, he didn't use it. He just traded it in. Yeah. Oh. I, I, I still... I, I gotta go with Paul's. I'm not gonna... You know, I'm gonna say I don't mind it because Paul literally pitched me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't be upset about that. All you're saying is you picked me. <laughs> but it's actually kind of nice. <laughs> it wasn't intentional if I could hope so. I'm not... Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yes. I've got you a rocket scientist and a ski instructor. That is quite the resume. Okay. How do they make time for me? I'm sure they make time. I have gotten you a person who loves to laugh and has the hottest friends that I'm assuming you will be able to take down. Okay. My street cred just went through the roof. You're surrounded by hot. I'm a six and a half hanging out with a bunch of tents. You're a six and a half hanging out with 15s. Yeah, but the problem with that is that person's been stalking you since middle school. Well, the problem with that is, uh, it's the person you hated the most in high school and literally hasn't changed. <laughs> I love that we both had high school cards. 
I was waiting to play that. I was like, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna have something. It's gonna be one. It just. Mm. Paul, your girl is a superhero that cooks all your favorite foods. Yo, girl is spontaneous and fun and completely blind to all of your flaws. What flaws? I have a lot. It's like a dictionary. <laughs> Paul is a god. A rap god. Okay, so what, what are the flaws? Tell me the flaws! Alright. <clears throat> Adam, would you yeah. like to go first? Yeah, sure. Paul, that, that spontaneousness and that funness is going to come back to bite you in the ass because she keeps asking if your best friend is down. Wow. This lovely lady is uh, going downhill real quick because she's 19 kids and counting. She's a superhero. She can manage it without Paul's help. She's down for a threesome. Yeah, she's but, got 19 kids yeah, but someone else. That threesome is with me. And that doesn't say I have to always say yes. I can just right. avoid the question. Right, but she keeps asking. Okay. Forever. It never stops. Okay. At least three times a day. I no, where does it say that? Like, I'm it, and plus you, you gotta I'm think. Nowhere does it say that she has custody of the nineteen kids. Nowhere does it say you don't have to take care of them. Nowhere does it say you do have to take care of them. <laughs> they might all be babies. Some might of them be might be up. angry teenagers with guns and has baseball bats and knives that walk up and threaten to kill you when you come over. For all you know, she's never even met any of them. <laughs> She could have put them up for adoption the second they were born and they are no longer her problem. Or she still has them and she's paying welfare that you now have to help fund. What do you what do you want to deal with? 19 kids that you potentially never have to meet and may not even know exist. Or a potential threesome. Or somebody incessantly asking you for a threesome with either me or Jake. I can just avoid the question, so okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go with that one. Okay. I don't even know if I want kids, man. What is that? <laughs> Devra, I have gotten you yeah. the lead singer of your favorite band who loves the 80s. I will let you pick the century. Paul. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming out swinging now. Oh, fuck. Top card isn't good because it's a professional surfer, but... Has a cellar full of every arc supplies there is. We're talking about tablets. Pro we're talking surfers about make a lot of money, and that's a lot of. It's arc the lead supplies. singer of your favorite band. Yeah, but my favorite band is not popular. And plus, you gotta think too. It can further Death's career as an artist. Also, too. my actual favorite band has no lead singer. There are seven members. <laughs> Do I get all seven? Yes. He just offered me hot Korean boys. Yes, I did. I just offered you. I just offered hot you BTS. Hot Korean boys who would write songs about me. Yeah, yeah. but they also think that uh, women should vote. They may have a cellar full of all of the art supplies in the world, but their pet name for you is Trash Bag. <laughs> I call myself a trash bag. <laughs> The only reason I use them is because it's so amazing. No, that just adds to it. I'm sorry, Paul wins this. That's You're a turning down BTS? I, I'm sorry. To but... further the career? Yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, I got you. You got me? The voice of an angel, never gain weight while you date him. So once again, basically, never. You are doing very well, my friend. But so. you will look as skinny as me. This person. Okay. Oh, I never gain weight while dating them. Oh, you never gain I weight. I love it. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. This person okay. makes scented candles and is a vampire, the sexy kind. Um, I know you have a bang fetish. Don't even lie to me. I do. You are correct, but I scented candles give me a headache. I mean, <laughs> they make them. Okay. I didn't say they burn them. The flaw with that is that it's not a vampire. It's a vampire, not the sexy kind. <laughs> Wait! What? <laughs> what? So is it a vampire that's a solid, like, 5 out of 10? 
Okay, okay, it's okay. Just, it's just not it's the sexy. It's, it's just an average it's, vampire. It's the sexy cat, but it's not the sexy cat. It's like kind. the average girl next door vampire. It's a confused vampire. It's, it's, it's not a sexy vampire, it's a cute vampire. Okay. <laughs> like, it's a mediocre vampire. So, this person may have the voice of an angel. Okay. And you might never gain weight with them. <laughs> okay. But they're building an arc. <laughs> Is that where all my fat's going? Um, <laughs> it's the sealant for the boat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I can either date the female version of Noah, <laughs> or I can date a solidly average vampire. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go with the solidly average vampire. Damn it! <laughs> does that put me in the lead? I think it does. It does. I'm Six so five, I'm so glad you pulled that card actually because I when I saw that I started busting out laughing. <laughs> not too cute, but not too ugly either. It's it's Goldilocks vampire right there. <laughs> All right. Pandering to Paul. Pander to me, bitches. All right. You got it. All right. You want to go first? Sure. <clears throat> She's an amazing dancer, and she gives the best hugs. I do like hugs. She, have be she has beautiful eyes, and their kisses cure cancer. Okay. What about the, uh, so you got a that. walking, talking cure cancer. The you problem can with rent. that is that she slept with your dad recently. <laughs> or well, your I'm mom. Not even, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. It's <laughs> yeah. not even worth it. Great, so 753. It's yep. not even worth it. Okay, we're all odd numbers in consecutive order. That pleases my OCD. You'll never get sick while you date him and speaks every romance language. Shit. They never, I have a notoriously bad immune system. They never blame you for anything, and they can fire your most hated coworker or boss. Fuck each other up, and fuck each other up hard. Just got out of prison, but won't tell you what or where. Always wears a luchador mask. You don't know what they look like under that thing. That and the fact that it never comes off because they're wearing it during showers and shit. It doesn't say they wear it during the shower. Yeah, I it's would always, always it off. wears a luchador mask when you see them. I'm it's yeah, always. but when I said always wears a Bluetooth headset, you know, you said no, it's only with your phone out. No, 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 no. I never said that they had both of them out though. They always had, they always had at least one in. So it was always on. I'm, I'm still gonna have to go with balls. Sick. Never getting sick and being able to speak in other languages to someone is something I crave in this. Uh, you won't age when you date them, and you will never have to work while you date them. Do they age? I assume not if you can't age. Yeah. Because it would make right. no sense why they have the power. And just, yeah, I take that. <clears throat> they give you mind-shattering orgasms that make you sore for days. And Why would I want that? <laughs> an endless reminder that they fucking own you. Is that the second card? No. <laughs> oh. And their nipples taste like hot for some days. Paul, you better bring your A game. Yeah. Keep changing the subject to talk about how not racist they are. I got a hate when people do that. Not Has to be half racist. a beard and refuses to shave. <laughs> Half a beard? <laughs> You're talking like just one side or? No, no, I'm talking like cut off like here. So like this is shaved and this is beard. Well, yeah, but it, yeah, but you can just shave that. But they refuse. They refuse to they shave refuse it. They refuse to shave. I can hold them down. Yeah, they refuse to shave. He, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. I mean... There's just someone who keeps trying to bring up the fact that they're not a racist. In, like, every conversation. Every time there's a subject. But their nipples taste like hot fudge some days. And they give you mind-shattering orgasms. Once again, why would, I, why would I want to be sore for days, though? Well, that's that's more like for a chick thing. The mind-shattering orgasms is the focal point of that. It'd be, like, the fattest nut you've ever had. That's pretty fat nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! So they don't age, and I can hold them down and shave them. Yep. Uh, this is a difficult one. I gotta go with Paul's. Uh, being able to spend my entire, yeah. being able to spend the rest of eternity doing nothing and playing video games. Totally and, and being me. young. And being young, yeah. Just appeals to me. 
I could become a pro video game player with the amount of time I can see. You can become a pro Twitch streamer, even if it took you like 10 years. Exactly. You like, never look different. You eventually. would have the best fucking setup. Alright, Paul. Okay, that's mine. Paul. Their farts smell like flowers, so you never have to worry about them stinking up a room. And they have no gag reflex. Oh, yeah. She loves to scratch your back while you fuck her. And she won't be goddamn Medal of Honor. She's tough. <laughs> See, they may love to scratch you, and they may have won a Medal of Honor, but they only swear they're 18. Why? Because that's her ID. <laughs> She's wanted in every state except Florida because Florida doesn't fucking want her. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That means every state wants them. <laughs> yeah. Except Florida. They're so bad that Florida does not want them. Who wants to go to Florida anyways? Have you seen the kind of news? It's, it's a joke about Florida news. Mm. You know, Florida woman steals eight babies and Crocodiles and shit. That, that means that that means that any state would be happy to have her. No, 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 no. By no. extension, you. This no, is no. a confusing card, she's, isn't it? She's wanted in every state of Florida. So like right, every but, state but wants see, to capture her. But see, the 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 in parentheses part makes it seem like Florida doesn't want her out of some like personal thing. Not not a criminal. Thing. So they, which makes it seem like every other state does want her for personal reasons. So like we we can go to Florida and. She won't get arrested? Is that what you mean? Like, you have to live in Florida? No, she'd be, like, extradited somewhere else. Well, then I'll just move to fucking Japan. Or Canada. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll just move. Yeah. So, you know how you know how people are wanted in, like, six states for crimes? Yeah. Right. She's wanted in every state except Florida. There are non-extradiction countries. Yeah, I know. But because... She did something so horrible that not even Florida will take her. As a prisoner. Okay, so I can still live in Florida. No, Florida would send her somewhere else. Gotcha. So you just gotta leave the country. Or okay. leave her. Paul, you can go live somewhere else. It's what you've always wanted. But then you're not together. No, no, no. Why not? There's nothing saying she can't leave the country. You see, make it sound like it's impossible for a fugitive to get out of the country. Why? Why would you want someone who did something so heinous that not even Florida? Because she has no it? gag reflex. <laughs> Neither do I. Versus the statutory rape charge you're gonna pick up from the Medal of Honor. Yeah, era. but I mean, wait. I just no, 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 no. Won the Medal of Honor. Had to be in combat. You have to be 18. No, no, no. They swear. They swear. Okay, and then for all you know, they're secretly 47. I think I would know a 47-year-old when I see one. They scratch the fuck out of your back when you fuck them, dude. That's not, <laughs> <laughs> That's not a plus to him! What do you Paul, mean it's not a plus Paul's to him? Paul's age range is like what? Would you max out at 26? Right now. Right now, yeah. When you're 30, that's gonna be like 46. Yeah. Right, so, but he's not currently 30. No. So we got another 8 years for that shit. Exactly. This one, all you gotta do is leave the country. You don't mind that. This one, all you have to do is ask for ID. That's expensive. It right, takes but th time. but they're not going to give it to you. They're swearing up and down they're 18. I'll just go I think they wallet. might give you ID. I'll just go in their fucking wallet. Okay. The only the only reason people swear they're 18 is if they are like underage that. or way too overaged. Yeah. Ask for ID or just take it. Okay, which means you wouldn't take her. What? If she's swearing she's 18, she's either under 18 or over 30. If you can leave the country, you can ask for an ID. Yeah. But if, but that ID, ID is either going to say under 18 or over the age of 30. Nowhere does it say that. It's, it's not going to say she's 18. It's not going to say she's over the age of 30. The card doesn't say that. First of all, it only if somebody's 18. lying about their age and saying they're 18, they're not lying from the age of, like, 24. I'm just going to go with devs, because this banter is taking, like, 15 minutes.